Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I was literally just sitting on my couch and I was thinking about all the things that you can write off on your taxes. And not many people know that there are so many things that you can write off on your taxes for your business. So, of course, I'm here to help you guys and I'm literally just gonna list all the things that you can write off on your taxes. Tax season just passed, so this is something that you can implement for, for next year. But these are things that you need to take note of things that you need to save receipts that you need to save so that you can write these things off for your taxes come next year but really quickly before i start listing a ton of things i want you guys to know that may 31st at six o'clock p.m i will be hosting a webinar the name of the webinar is secure 10k in 30 day sales webinar i hope to see you guys there this webinar of course is generated all about sales so if you have an existing business and you're lacking sales or if you're lacking visitors or following to your website i expect you to be there so if you do want to attend that webinar the link is in the description box and i hope to see you there but here we go these are going to be the things that you can write off for your business website expenses so the fees that you're paying for your website and i have everything listed in my phone uh, car payments insurance gas uh, parking and tolls registration fees repairs and I know you guys are probably like huh how can I write this off if you are dropping things off to the post office if you are you know picking up supplies for your business that is why these things matter so your car insurance you can write that off your gas that you're spending you can write that off in the mileage uh, because you are literally using these things to run your business some more things that you can write off for your business are going to be uh, the cost of goods so the materials and labor credit card processing fees workshops and training so the webinars that i do supply you can write that off because this this is ed for educational purposes for your business home offices so like rent mortgage renters and home insurance legal consultations accounting and bookkeeping so if you have someone dealing with your money and just monitoring your money you can always write that off as well office expenses uh, and that basically is more so like for equipment if you specifically use equipment for your business software supplies you can even write off your telephone bill especially if you have a business line travel fare if you do more so like traveling back and forth if maybe you know you go to a lot of pop-up shops or anything like that you can always include that in your tax write-offs ground transportation so if you use like bus services or the greyhound or anything like that utilities electricity you can write off all of these things so i want you guys to make the best of your business i want you guys to take advantage of these things when i started my business i did not know much of this information so that is why i give back to you guys and make these videos these are just some of the things that you can write off of your business there are tons of more but i want you guys to take heed of it i want you guys to save your receipts i want you guys to track your mileage that you're spending to go to the post office uh to drop off orders getting gas insurance all of that stuff because all of these things can be written off and you can receive money at the end of the year for these things so i hope this video was beneficial to you guys i will see you guys in my next video and don't forget may 31st is the secure 10k in 30 day sales webinar i hope to see you there and i will see you guys later bye <music>